Hello everyone, this is Karina and welcome to this product review video. I think I've done this video for about 10 times, so I'm pretty sure I can review the item in depth. Alright, so the item in question is this uh, um, tin box from Keyworm and uh, uh, it's not uh, made of a strange material, it's not uh, new or innovative or whatever, but it's cheap. I've purchased three of them and including shipping from China to Italy it was uh, around uh, $15. So what I wanted to uh, see is that uh, if uh, uh, the cheap price was reflected in uh, cheap quality and uh, if that was not the case, uh, I would like buy a thousand of them because I am in my organizing phase of watercolors. So what I'm going to compare it with, as I don't have any small um, metal tins, is uh, um, my archive <laughs> palette. This is from um, Gerstacker, which is a uh, a German manufacturer of uh, art uh, supplies and uh, this uh, was for 32 euros and it was on sale. So I'm going to uh, show you this palette and then we'll examine the other one. So first thing it has a thumb ring on the bottom and uh, well let's get it out of the way you can see that they're the same size or actually this one is slightly bigger but uh, thickness wise they're the same it has uh, just one latch and uh, I've used it uh, seldomly so it's still tight but it has become a bit lax during the usage then uh, you have four big wells, but that's not uh, well. That's not in common because the other is smaller. But it has a raised edge and soft corners. Uh, of course, the paints are not included uh, in the palette, unfortunately. Uh, you have uh, a raised edge as well because let's see if I can do this without uh, making anything fall out. Okay. The um, the mixing area has a, a downward slope, so if you mix something here, the water will fall this way and be stopped by the edge. Then, last thing, you can of course take the tray out, and you have uh, more mixing areas. Yeah. All right. So this is basically the. Um, Oh, the expensive palette. All right, let's put this away and then we will open this one. Uh, it did come with some dents, though it's just an aesthetic thing because if you go inside and just press, they uh, go back to to normal. So, well, it's not a problem. They're going to be dented anyway. Uh, it has. Uh, two lashes and when they came in they were a bit lax so it was uh, mm, well I was not impressed with it but if you open the lid and just squeeze the sides you're going to shorten this distance and so um, you're going to have a, a more durable hatch hatch latch I don't know what language I'm talking and uh, it stays close now, of course, you're not going to play yo-yo with your palette, but uh, if it is in your bag and it moves around, you don't have to worry about it opening up and spreading the contents around. This is something that happened to me. Not with this one, but with another one. You open it and you have two big mixing areas. Raised edge and soft corners. Same on the other side. And... Uh, it doesn't come with the half pans. I put them in <laughs> afterwards and uh, 
um, I will of course put all the links in the description for both pans and the palettes if you are interested because these are cheap as well and they're about uh, um, let's say pick uh, uh, here. this is a Schminke Horadam pan and they're Actually, I think this one is a bit bigger. Just slightly bigger. Um, and I've checked these are the same size as all the Holland pens. Okay, let's put it back. Okay, the other thing, the mixing area, I'm not pressing it, but it has kind of an upwards curve or it stays flat but I've tried it with my uh, current cheap palette and you can uh, lower it down and get it to stay down. It's just a matter of forcing it a little bit. The other thing I've noticed is that uh, um, inside here there is a small... Are you in focus? Yes. Uh, inside this tube here there is a, a, a metal rod which is like the hinge of the whole thing. And in some cases the um, the edges are a bit too loose, and if you uh, if you incline your palette, it falls out and this detaches. And it's not a problem; you can put it back in and uh, go back to painting. But if you're on outside and your mixing area falls out, it's uh, well, it's not exactly nice, isn't it? Um, of course, the other palette, the oops, the expensive one, has the same principle, but it pr it's probably um, compressed. Uh, the the metal tube is pressed at the edges, so uh, it doesn't have this problem. I think that if you have some pliers, you can just squeeze the edges and uh, you're set, or put some uh, adhesive tack on it to stop it from going out. And Okay, and of course the tray inside detaches as well, and you get your mixing extra mixing areas. Okay. Okay, so here I've moved some of my old Holland pans, uh, actually all of them, in the new palette, and uh, I'm trying it out to see how it uh, it works. Uh, in normal usage and uh, like all metal tins uh, it needs uh, a bit of roughing up or usage to get uh, you know to keep uh, the puddle as I call it and uh, you know do not concentrate it all in one place and uh, make it difficult for you to mix another thing is that uh, the um, the size length of the place where you can put a travel brush in is about 11 centimeters long so if you have anything longer than that it's probably not going to fit a size 6 from uh, Escoda travel brush from Escoda um, barely fits in I had uh, troubles taking it out uh, comfortably so I will not put uh, um, a travel brush in there Another thing, I've kept this palette in my bag for a couple of days and uh, I'm proud to say that it did not come out with any uh, more visible dent other than those it came with, which are probably due, I don't know, to storing or something like that. So all in all, I have to say that I'm pretty happy with the purchase and uh, if I have the chance I will surely um, buy some more. Of course I'm buying some more they're so cheap all right and uh, of course it uh, cleans very well and uh, uh, the metal doesn't stain this is it for this review thank you for being with me and until next time